is the workouts that I used to do and that we started doing. So today is Thursday and we're doing the Fire 30. But again, like I just do it super, super easy and it can be really hard not to like push yourself harder. But the amount of pain I was in last night and the night before, it's really good that I'm not pushing myself harder than I already did. Listen to your body and these are not meant for people with issues like me so you know when they're like just push harder you can do it it's in your mind it's all mental at this point don't do that because you are not in that place like them but uh yeah i did this in high school and i really liked it and it's funny how you remember the um exercises a lot but and i are both doing that together he's also being careful for his shoulder but obviously he can work out a lot harder than i can so I will keep you guys updated with how this is going. I'm, I am excited about it because I, like I said in the last vlog, like even if it's during the summer, maybe we were gonna go like out to eat with family on Sunday or go to church, anything like that. If I do one thing during the week, I have to rest for it and rest afterwards. So this is like the perfect opportunity. So um, I know a lot of you are normally stuck inside too, but maybe you're not working as much right now. Um, I do wanna encourage you, like a lot of the times, I'll walk around my house, like I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, if it's all I can do, I'll set the timer for 10 minutes and walk. That's before I have my treadmill. And then I do a lot of just like movement on my ball and stretches because that's so important. You do not have to work out because there are times that you can't, but I do uh, encourage movement, especially when you're on medications. I, I can tell a big difference when I move a little bit versus when I don't. So I'm gonna rest up, just finished uh, half my sandwich, gonna rest a little bit, get my workout clothes on, and then when Kyle's done working, we'll work out. And then like I said, we'll do our puzzle and watch our show and just enjoy the evening. shaken I did a stretch afterwards and now it's recovery time uh, we always just get in the sauna for a little bit afterwards and um, every move that they do at least towards the beginning and middle I uh, do about half and then at the end I do it close to or the same as what they do depending I'm dizzy and my tendons and my wrist hurt because there's lots of punches so I recover in the sauna then it will be resting because 35 30 um for the rest of the evening and recovering because <laughs> it takes all day i'll really feel the pain tomorrow night thankfully it doesn't usually hurt too bad the day of but i feel it now but i also was still sore from the workout last two days ago so we'll see but it does feel really nice to continue to work out and hopefully i can Okay, we're on our way to mom's now. They said she's not doing well her respiratory rate, um, so they put her on oxygen. So we're gonna have her put down. Wanna drive, so mom's gonna 
Rick goes up and that way they can say bye too. We're hoping we can make it there to say bye to her, but we're also okay if not because we have really good memories of her. Um, they said they can keep her comfortable. If something happens, she's gonna call me and I We're back home now and my dad's digging the hole for her grave. This is really sweet so a lot of you know how much my cats mean to me because you know I'm sick we can't have kids right now. Um, the only reason why I'm doing this now is because I know I'm not going to want to vlog. I had planned on editing I'm halfway through a vlog but there's no way I'm going to be able to do that anytime soon because she's in a lot of I think about my sauna and my bath. And Bert's been starting to do the sauna. Yeah, again. Bert's been starting to like to be in the sauna a little bit. Yeah. And when I used to be so sick and like about to have a seizure and laying on the floor, I remember Rue and Jasmine. Just, they were my rock. They, you know, we'd have to move them so I could throw up in the bowl because they just remember that. They just wanted to be right with me. You know, you have emotional support animals and physical support animals, but usually they're dogs, but Jasmine was definitely mine and very special to all of us because Kyle gave me her my high school graduation. She still lived with my parents after we moved to an apartment because we didn't want to distress her and she loves my mom and dad so much. Like, it really is like my mom and dad come and it's like, Grandpa's here, Grandma's here. <laughs> uh, it happened really fast. They said her heart was, it was just very, very low. Right, Kyle? Couldn't even find the blood pressure. And they wanted to do tests and we did tests and they, we did um, like IV fluids, electrolytes, stuff like that Got to see her, to say goodbye. And um, I'm just glad she wasn't in pain. But um, when she started having like a little more difficulty breathing, they're like, yeah, this, it's time. And when it was just, it was beautiful, wouldn't you say, Kyle? Like it was really beautiful. The sun was out and Jasmine loves the sun. That's what's really hard about being back. And it's so hard because it's getting ready to be layout time and Jasmine, Luna, <laughs> and nine wonderful years with her. So hard, they're probably gonna be looking for her. I'm out here, bawling my eyes out. She should be right there.